What's going on Call of Duty players? You're watching Spartan G Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me in this next Infinite Warfare video. And as you can see in front of you there, this video is all about the gold camo for the TF-141 classic weapon. Now, this has been a great joy to use. I've really enjoyed using it. It's such a powerful, devastating weapon. It's just a shame now I'm gonna to have to put it back on the shelf because I am working other weapons to gold. But wow, but unbelievable weapon to use, guys. Probably one of the best ballistic rifles I've used in COD games so far. Now, how do you unlock this gun? Because you are going to need to unlock it. You unlock it through prestige and through your levels. Then when you prestige up, you're going to get given a classic token to spend. There are five primary, primary classic weapons to choose from, plus, I believe, one handgun in the secondary. So it's up to you which one you choose, but no doubt because you're watching this video, you're going to want to spend that classic token on the TF-141. And let me tell you first hand, guys, you won't be disappointed using that classic token to unlock this weapon because it's absolutely phenomenal. The TF-141 is a bolt-action ballistic rifle. It's renowned for its superior stability, also its handling and unforgiving recoil. Now let me tell you again firsthand that when you do fire a bullet out of this rifle, it's going to give you such a kickback. It's going to bounce around like a Zebedee. So I'm going to give you some tips and attachments that you can use to help along with that. But it is a very, very damaging weapon. I love it. Like I said, I can't express enough how much I love this weapon. It's fantastic. You can run with this gun and you can also camp with it. It's an all-round brilliant weapon. Now, this is the last kill I'm going to get, guys, and then I'm going to get into how we unlock these camos. I'm only going to help you with the ones I find very difficult, and which ones I find that you found difficult. So first of all, you're going to need to get 200 kills with this weapon to start with. Then when you've got the 200 kills, you then get your next five camos that will unlock for you, that you will need to complete. And you, to complete them last five camos, you will need to get 160 headshots to unlock the zebra camo. Now, getting the headshots is reasonably easy, but I wish I'm going to take my own advice here because there's a big tip I'm going to give you here now, guys, that was going to help me with the headshots, but I didn't realize it until the last moment. So I'm going to show you this to you now, and then you can use it, guys, and you'll see what I mean about how easy this is going to make your headshots. Now, one of the tips I'm going to give you straight away is the sight that you have on. So in the optic, have variable zoom on. Then what I'd like you to do is put the fiber optic sight on that I'm showing you here. You'll need to get 25 headshot kills while aiming down the sight with the basic sniper or scope to unlock it, which isn't very hard, guys. But the reason is because I'm showing you a couple of pictures here, the difference. Your standard sight is very dark, okay? The black cross here is, is very dark, especially on some maps, you'll find it very hard to zoom into the head. But with the fluorescent, light colored fiber optic sight, it makes it that much more easier to zoom in on that head and know you're going to get a pinpoint head shot. Also have the ballistic CPU on, and because of the unforgiving recoil, the bounce back, like a Zebedee, remember foregrip is going to help you reduce that recoil, that bounce. Perk 1 in Ghost, Perk 2 Scavenger, the bullets in the TF141 are not all that great, so you will need to use Scavenger to resupply every now and again. And also in Perk 3, use Markman for the longer distance shots that you're going to get. And also Dead Silence. I mean, I love Dead Silence. That's my all-round best friend in Perk 3. I love not being able to be heard by the enemy, and you can get some great kills from that. Now, actually getting the headshots itself. Like I said, it was just a shame that I didn't use my own advice and use that fiber optic, because I probably would have got the headshots away a little bit more quicker and easier. I still got them out of the way fairly easy, I thought, even with the standard sight, but you can see the difference here. Me now aiming down on this terminal map down in the darker area of that zone, it's hard to see where the crosshairs meet in the middle to get that perfect aim in. So that's why I'm saying use the fiber optic sight. You will see the difference if you come to use it yourself, guys. But you also must make sure you aim into the head. Don't forget to do that. Don't shoot someone's body and then say, I didn't get a headshot. It's obviously not going to work, guys. You've got to zoom into the head in the first place. So that's quite easy with the TF-141 to do that. These maps I'm showing you here are some of my personal favorites. What you have to remember as well is, guys, that some of the maps that you get given to play in are not maybe your choice. So all these maps I'm saying play in because these are my personal favorites, you may not even get the option to play in them. It's only what your other players are doing when you're in the pre-game lobby, when you're choosing the map. So whoever votes for whatever map, that's what you're going to be left with. But most of the favorites are Frost, Terminal, Frontier, maps like that. Okay, so all these maps are great maps anyway. 
A great map is Frost. I do love Frost. You'll find a lot of enemy will tend to camp around on that. Now, I know it's not great tactics, me saying look around for enemy that are camping around or maybe in the spawn and not moving, but you will find a lot of the time that will happen. So make for that easy headshot kill, guys. Got to get them when you can. There's 160. That's a lot. Another great one is Sky Dock. You know where I am here, guys, if you play this map enough. I'm just resting my back against this wall here, looking down that little corridor or tunnel, whatever you want to call it there. And you'll be surprised because we've got the ghost on, the enemy won't see us if they've got a UAV up. You can actually get the enemy run straight in front of your sights and that will make for an easy headshot. I maybe got 50 headshots like that and the enemy didn't even know I was there. So use that to your advantage guys, get those headshots easy using that. Another great map is Throwback. There's plenty of opportunity for the enemy to camp in the corners because this map has got plenty of corners for the enemy to hide in. Not just the enemy but for us as well. So they're only going to do what we're going to do. But look out for those corners. Not just the corners, but the great thing about this throwback map is they have an area here in the middle here where the enemy can look over the little barrels there or even up in the silo. Even up in this window if you're up in the other side of the, 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 the map here, guys. It just makes for so easy headshots. Remember, they're going to try and get you headshots. Probably that's what they're after as well. But with this weapon, you can get them thick and fast before they even zoom in on you. Now, Frontier is my number one favorite map, not just for headshots, but for anything you're going with with the camos. I absolutely adore this map, but it is great for headshots, as I said, guys. So use it whenever you can. You'll find that most players will vote for this map, so you will get it at some point. Then you'll come to the Autumn Camo. Now, the Autumn Camo, you need to get 25 long shots, and that is easy. I'm not going to show you any videos on that, guys. The Whiteout, you'll need to get 50 kills with this weapon while holding your breath. Just hold your right stick down while you've got your aim in. Get your kills. 50 will come very, very easily. Then you go for your Bengal. Get a kill with an optic and five attachments equipped 50 times. You'll be without your perks, but don't worry, guys. Those 50 kills, as soon as you've got them, that will come very, very easily. Then you can put your perks back on again, but that's not really a problem. Murdered Out, I'm going to help you with this one. This is where we need to get two rapid kills 20 times with this TF141. Attachments I would recommend is Stock and also Quick Draw. Remember, with the Quick Draw, we can get our sights up nice and early. And also with the Stock, it's going to help us move when we've got our sights up a little bit faster to the left or right. And we're going to need that when we're getting rapid kills. Because remember, we need to get two kills instantly straight away after each other. I'm not 100% accurate on how much time you're allowed in between each kill to get the uh, rapid kill. I have counted three seconds myself, but it's not accurate. Like I said, it's not perfect. It could be more, it could be slightly less. But all you need to do, guys, is get two rapid kills. That's all you need to remember. One kill straight after another. And a great map, like I always say for this, is Terminal. You'll probably end up getting three, maybe four rapid kills on this map. It's that easy, guys. It really is. When you're struggling with this, you're obviously doing something wrong. You're obviously in the wrong place, the wrong map. You haven't got your sights up when you need to. You know, you're not looking for any enemy spawns because there are a lot of other things that do help with getting the rapid kills. But remember, the terminal map, you've got a good idea of where the enemy are going to be spawning from. So you just have to aim in down these little areas, watch for the enemy to come out. They normally flock in their, you know, pairs or three, maybe four people at a time. And it just makes for an easy kill. It makes it even easy when you get a collateral damage kill, two kills with one bullet. All you then need to do is get one extra kill straight after that. But that you don't need that because we're not on the Neon Tiger, but I'm just saying it makes for an easy free kills if you're after that. But that's for the next one we're going to show you. But for rapid kills, Clash or Damage does it instantly. Precinct map is an absolute favourite of mine as well. This little room, if you know where I am, guys, if you play this enough, you've got a window view to the left, a window view to the right. Enemy will spawn from either end of them. Just be from one end of the end to the, to the room to the other, and you'll find you'll get those rapid kills easy where the enemy's spawning from. The Neon Tiger, this is the one I was saying about with the three kills. Now, you need to get three kills without dying 20 times. Now, the great thing about this challenge is you don't need to make them rapid kills. You can have a pause from one kill to another with about a minute in between each gap if you want to, from each kill to another. I would recommend using that because you might die in that time. But um, the great thing is, like I said, I'm just trying to make you aware that you don't have to rush to get the kills. You can get one kill, you can walk somewhere else and go and get another kill somewhere else. It doesn't matter, they don't need to be fast kills. But this is such an easy challenge, guys. There's nothing hard about it. Use those favourite maps such as Terminal, Frontier, Throwback. You'll find you'll get those three kills without dying 20 times, like myself, within the space of about maybe three or four games at the most. They really do come thick and fast. Down here, you can get so many down this Frontier tunnel here. There is a name you've given that. I can't remember what it is, guys. But you'll have to remind me. But um, down that little tunnel on the Frontier map, you will get so no end of them three kills without dying 20 times. Okay, 
So I hope I've helped you there, guys, into some tips or ways of advice into getting this to gold yourself. I'm just going to show you now, and, and uh, please don't forget to prestige the weapon, guys. When you do get to prestige level 3 with the weapon, you will get this lovely demon skull accessory. It's lovely to have hanging off your weapon. But um, if you have enjoyed the video, guys, please don't forget to like. Please subscribe. I've got not just Infinite Warfare videos for you to watch, but also guides and tips and help on Black Ops 3, Advanced Warfare as well. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll join you on the next video. I've got my next weapon coming up very soon. But peace out, and thanks again for watching. I can't appreciate all your support.